Hello everyone, my name's Shannon and welcome to my brand new channel, That's So Poe. I thought I would get started by doing the booktube newbie tag. Question one, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because I got into booktube about a year ago when I found out that my cousin Jade from Bedtime Bookworm, whom I'll link below, uh, had a channel. I started watching her videos and then I wanted to explore more of booktube. I started watching other videos. Um, in particular, I really liked uh, Rachel from Kalanadi and Bex and John from Night Hunter Books. And I thought, you know, I want to make videos too. I want to, I've got plenty of opinions to share. So I'm starting my own. Question two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I think everyone has lots of different opinions, lots of different reading tastes, and mine are just another view. So I am very opinionated. I have quite a few, perhaps not exactly typical opinions on books I've noticed, um, and I like to read widely. So hopefully that will make my channel uh, have good breadth. Question three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I think I'm just most excited about reflecting a little bit more deeply about what I read. I have been a lifelong reader and especially in the past couple of years, I've been trying to challenge myself to read genres that I wouldn't normally read and learn a little bit more from my reading experience, kind of have some personal development and become, you know, a more informed reader. Question four, why do you love reading? I love reading because I get completely sucked into books. I get in the flow, totally absorbed, time passes, I have no idea that minutes or hours are just flowing by. And at the end of it, I feel like I have a much deeper understanding about myself, about other people, about the world, and I have so much more interesting things to talk about. Uh, with other people. So it really just enriches my life as well as is the perfect escape when I'm feeling a little tired or a little stressed out. Question five, what book or series got you into reading? So I'd always been a reader. My mom had taken me to the library when I was a little kid and we would always choose books. So reading was always a part of my life. But when I was 12, my dad introduced me to fantasy fiction. So he started me off with Piers Anthony Zanth series and David Edding's Bell Garriott series and Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time series and I became addicted to reading. I think in junior high, every moment that I wasn't busy with school, I was pretty much spending reading. I remember bus ride home, uh, in between classes, and definitely every single evening and all of the weekend. So I really fell in love with fantasy. Question six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I think what I'd like to know is just about what books have really changed who they are as people. What books have influenced the way that they see life, the way that they understand other people or experiences. I think books can have that really life-changing effect on you and it'd be very interesting to see what books have affected them like that. I think for me, um, 1984, I read that in college and I really connected with the ending, that idea of even if you know you're supposed to believe something, it's different from truly believing deep down. Or uh, last year I read The New Jim Crow and that was really eye-opening in terms of understanding systemic racism and kind of how the cards are stacked against a lot of people. So those for me were really eye-opening and life-changing books and I would love to know what other books did that for the booktubers I enjoy listening to. Question seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think for me, as for everyone else, it'll be time. Uh, life gets pretty busy sometimes and finding the time to not just record videos but edit them and get them up, I think that'll be a challenge, but I'm hoping that I can manage something reasonable. Question eight, when did you start reading? Um, as I said before, I started reading when I was very small, when my mother would 
take me to the library and we would read books together. But I became a reader, as in my hobby was reading, when I was about 12. Question 9. Where do you read? I read almost exclusively in bed or in the bath. I like being warm and cozy and comfortable. I also tend to prefer to have uh, digital books on my phone because that's the easiest to hold above my head when I'm reading in bed. So uh, otherwise my hands get a little tired. Question 10. What kind of books do you like to read? I've changed over the years. So when I first got into reading, it was pretty much exclusively fantasy. But over the years, it's changed. I got into um, sci-fi and historical romance and manga when I was a teenager. And then in, in the past five or so years, I've really tried to branch out past that. I've done a lot of nonfiction and a lot of genres I otherwise wouldn't have been exposed to. So I think this is maybe the most informative section of this new booktuber tag. So I wanna go into a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of the genres that I'm really enjoying right now and some of my favorite books within those genres just to give a peek into my reading tastes. So the first genre that is near and dear to my heart is fantasy. This is something that I've loved since the beginning. I really enjoy epic high fantasy. And in particular, I really like the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. That's one of the first book series I ever tried, and it is so good. I'm currently doing a reread of this out loud with my husband, which is taking forever. So maybe in a few years we'll finish. But right now we're only in book six. Um, both of us had started reading this in high school when it was first coming out, and we just never finished it because it took too long for the remaining books to come out and we'd forgotten the characters. So we're doing a reread and if anybody is interested in this series, I highly recommend that you check out uh, Jade from Bedtime Bookworms Goodreads Wad Along, which is the Wheel of Time read along. So she's done a reread of that in 2018 and she's got a bunch of videos on Wheel of Time if you're at all interested. Uh, again, I'll link that below. Another favorite fantasy author of mine is Neil Gaiman. And Neil Gaiman can skirt the line between fantasy and maybe folklore, but he is just such a beautiful writer. I love his prose. I think he's one of my favorite modern authors. And I especially like his book, The Ocean at the End of the Lane, which is quite a dark tale, but really moving and I couldn't get over how beautiful it was when I read it. So I highly recommend anything by Neil Gaiman. The next genre that I'm a big fan of is science fiction. Uh, I don't read as much science fiction as I'd like to, so if you have any recommendations for great science fiction, definitely leave them below and I'll see if I can check them out this coming year. But some of my favorites include classics like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. This was something that my dad introduced me to as well. We would do road trips in the summer and he got the audio version of this. Um, it was great because listening to that with my dad was so much fun and such a good memory to me. I've read it again um, in physical form many years later and found it just as funny. It's a great series. I've also fallen in love with the Murderbot series by Martha Wells. If you have not checked this out, you really should. It's so great. Apparently, everything I like in sci-fi is comedy, so maybe I need to branch out into more serious sci-fi, but Murderbot series is so great. I think that the humor in it is wonderful, but also I like the deeper themes where it explores what is it to be human, what is it to be partially human, and how do we grow how do we become better? I, I like those sort of uh, explorations of who we are and, and what we can be if we try. So I find that series really enjoyable. Another favorite genre of mine is historical romance. I have a lot of favorite authors, but I'll talk about a couple. One is Georgette Heyer. She wrote some great comedies uh, that are romances set in Regency England and a couple that are from a little bit earlier than that as well. One of my favorites is The Grand Sophie, which is about a, uh, a woman who really is in charge of things. She's gonna get stuff done. And she reminds me a lot of myself. So I really like that book. 
Carla Kelly is another favorite historical romance author. She writes in a couple of different time periods, but one of my favorites is she has a series called the Spanish Brand series, which starts with the Double Cross, and that takes place in the 1700s in the Spanish colony of, I believe, New Mexico. And it's very interesting. This is not a location and a time period that I have read too many books set in. So just some of the issues of the distance from the Spanish government and the colonial government and the interactions with native populations. There's a lot of interesting historical stuff going on beneath the, the romance story. Another genre that has been somewhat new to me in the past couple of years, but I'm finding I really enjoy is history. So I've always known that I've loved historical fiction, but what I've really gotten into is historical nonfiction. So especially things like micro history and biographies, I'm finding I really enjoy. One of my absolute top of all time series now is the Theodore Roosevelt trilogy by Edmund Morris, which I cannot recommend highly enough. It is so well written, so fascinating, and I, even though it's incredibly long, I really couldn't put it down. It was such a good series and eye-opening as to how much Teddy Roosevelt did. Um, I'm complete Teddy Roosevelt fangirl. I've got like a Teddy Roosevelt bobblehead. Yeah, I love Teddy Roosevelt and this series was a big part of that. So that was really big for me. Uh, an example of a microhistory book that I've really enjoyed is The History of the World in Six Glasses by Tom Standage. So it takes a look at the history of the world, uh, political, cultural, etc., by focusing in very narrowly on just one topic, on drinks. It takes a look at beer, wine, liquor, coffee, tea, and soda, and says, hey, how did these drinks influence the world and how were they also uh, representative of the way the world worked at that point in time when they were really, really big or the drink? In addition to these history books, I've also just been reading more nonfiction. I'm especially interested in books focusing on feminism or social justice. So two of the best books that I've read in the past couple of years are Delusions of Gender by Cordelia Fine, which is just such a well-researched and well-argued book talking about how a lot of the things that are attributed to genetic um, kind of foundational differences between men and women is more likely due to socialization and the impact of cultural expectations and less to do with anything genetic. Another book that was very good was Weapons of Math Destruction by Kathy O'Neill and that was absolutely fascinating. It looked at what sort of big AI machine learning algorithms are being used and how those often perpetuate social inequity um, and really sometimes make the entire systemic social injustice worse because they exacerbate the problem. So that was a very, very good read. And lastly, perhaps not unsurprisingly, given the title of my channel, I do like classics. Classics are something that I've been trying to explore more. Um, I've always liked things like Jane Austen, Mansfield Park in particular, I thought was really interesting. It's got themes of racism and poverty and kind of the ethics of how you earn money as well that I found really interesting. Um, I like P.G. Wodehouse, who writes a lot of very light, silly comedies. Um, my favorite of his is The Adventures of Sally, which I absolutely adored. And of course, Edgar Allan Poe, who I think is my favorite author of all time. He has the most beautiful writing style. He's incredibly intelligent. His works, what being on the surface perhaps somewhat dark, if you look deeper into them, often have a, a very strong sense of humor or even a strong sense of morality that very much comes through the more gothic way of his storytelling. And 
I just can't get enough of his writing. I, I love his poetry. I love his short stories. I think he's absolutely wonderful, and that's where my name for the channel came from. I'm just a very big fan. So I hope you enjoyed getting to know me and my book tastes. We shall see what my channel ends up being, but I'm excited.